What's good, everybody? What is good? What is good? Big Game James in the house, man. This ain't really a Coach J film day. This is a step up or step off series that we got going on right here. And today's first man on the block is Mr. Tristan Hill. Now, Tristan Hill has what we can say. I don't know if it's a much maligned career. Two years in Dallas, drafted in the second round. Uh, Rob Marinelli beat the table for him, as you can see here. Uh, 16 career games, 12 total tackles. I'm sorry, 16 total tackles in 12 career games. Um, Played seven games his rookie year. That was toward the end of the year. Didn't really get any kind of ticket at the beginning of the year. Um, You know, Rob Marinelli beat the table for this kid. Um, He had some issues, red flags. See, there's there's things about red flags. doesn't mean that you're going to be that player later on in your career. doesn't mean that's going to stay with you the rest of your life or your career. But it does say things to keep your eye on because things can happen. And when he was in college uh, his last year, uh, one of the reasons why he left early, didn't get along with the staff, uh, got demoted, um, and they said he was immature. Came into uh, the league, Ron Marinelli was uh, hyping them, pumping them up, saying they were doing, you know, playbooks in the hotel rooms and really loved this kid. And uh, that rookie year was a wash. They said it was a lot of immaturity issues uh, behind the scenes. Um, and it didn't look good. Uh, year two comes in. Uh, Tristan Hill comes in a different player. My guy, Brandon Tucker, who is a trainer for a lot of these kids out here and uh, for the Dallas Cowboys defensive line trainer. He uh, worked with him. We actually had him on the show a few times. And, uh, you know, he was talking about how Tristan Hill, uh, his first year with, uh, you know, about Tristan Hill wasn't glowing. His second year when he trained Tristan Hill, he said he was a whole different person. So he comes to work, doesn't talk, does the job. And that's what he, you know, that's what he, um, you like about him. So now it's year three, three different coordinators. You had a Ron Marinelli your first year. Your second year, you had Mike Nolan, and now your third year, three years, three different co- defensive coordinators. Um, 
and now it's your third year with Dan Quinn. Um, and coming off a uh, knee injury where he played five games, started all five, tore up his knee, you want to be able to see what he can do in year three. And uh, some people out there in the streets are saying, yo, you got to really play good in this uh, preseason, this camp, or could be a surprise cut. I said he could be a French player, but I really believe that they should keep Tristan Hill this year unless he just is not able to perform due to injury or anything like that. Uh, but I think they really need to keep him. I know they got Gallimore. He's trending up. I know they drafted Osa Igadazua. I know they got Chauncey Golston. I know they got the big Bohanna kid. Um, Brent Urban's in the mix. Carlos Watkins. Um, you got guys in the mix, and that's a good thing. But I think Tristan Hill still has something to offer this team, and we're going to show a little bit of tape to see what he can offer this team because he's got the quick step. He's stronger than a lot of people think. He country strong. And um, I think Dan Quinn can bring some good things out of him. So let's see what he looked like last year and um, step up or step off. I'm going to say he, he he needs to step up, but I think he's going to be a guy that's going to be here um, this year. And if he plays good, you can get another contract because he might not get a lot of money, but I think it, it can work out. So let's look at some stuff from Tristan Hill and let's go from there. All right. First game against the Giants. Let's see. All right, all right. So let's see here. Do you see Tristan Hill right here? Put him in slow motion. I'll pause it right here. Three technique guy. You can slide him in the middle and play some of that one. I've seen him on the outside and field these games. He's playing some five. But three technique, more more so the three technique is a guy that you want to be able to rush that passer up the middle, the guy that can get that quick penetration and uh, rush that quarterback, get sacks. Uh, this is your guy that you're going to get more one-on-ones. If you have your one that's going to be able to take those double teams, he's going to get more one-on-ones, so he's going to get more opportunities to get sacks and make plays in the backfield. Um, I think Tristan Hill can do it. You can see some explosiveness in his plays and in these plays right here where you can say, okay, um, we were seeing some good things before he got hurt. That's why it's frustrating that he got hurt with the ACL because you were seeing some things that you're like, okay, that if he played the whole year, you could have been like, okay, this is a guy that you might want to keep for the future. So it was a frustrating thing that he got knocked out after five games because you saw some trending upwards. But um, if he can stay healthy and you add those other guys in the mix, Tristan Hill can be a player in this Cowboy defense, I'm telling you. So let's see right here. Here it is right here. Put that fast motion right quick. Look at that. Look at that quick move right there. Right here. Look at that. Look at that good swim right there. Good agile pursuit. Making the tackle on that backfield. That's what you want him to do. You can see it again. You see him right here. I like that swim move right here. I like that swim move right there. And he did this to a few players. Quick swim move. He's got good quickness off the ball. Good swim move. And then he got, he attacks the ball carrier. As you can see it right here. Watch him. He attacks that ball carrier. Still keeping his head up and being able to see, sift and see through the trash. Making that play in the backfield. Making that stop. All right, let's see here. I think he gets him in the backfield on this next play against these Giants right here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and this was on the screen pass. Great play by Jalen Smith, too. This was one of his better games of the year um, that Jalen Smith had. But this was a great play, in my opinion. Good spin move. And although it's a screen play, although it's a screen pass, so you know the guy's going to hit block and break down uh, the line of scrimmage, 
but it's still a good quick move by uh, Tristan Hill to make Danny Dimes get that ball off quicker than he probably wanted to uh, for the screen play. Jalen Smith made a great play on the pursuit and making the uh, uh, basically the backfield getting no play, the running back getting no play. But Tristan Hill, I think, helped uh, speed up that process with the quick spin move because he left that man <laughs> reaching and dropping. I know he's still got to break out. But Tristan Hill still put that pressure on there to get Jalen Smith to be able to read and recognize and make this play. That's why you liked it. Let's see right here. We're going to do this in slow-mo. I like the slow-mo. So you see Jalen Smith watching. Jalen Smith made a great play right here. Tristan Hill. Look at that foot. Look at that foot. He ready. Look at that foot. He ready. That foot, that foot is ticking. He ready to get off that line of scrimmage. Now watch this good spin move right here. Boom. I like that. I like that good spin move right there. Okay. Now we understand it's a screenplay, but look at Jalen Smith with a great recognition. We can recognize it's a screenplay, but I still love that good quickness from Tristan Hill on that spin move. Because by him doing that, he's in there. Look at Danny Dines. Oh no, I'm scared. Look, I'm scared. Jalen Smith sees the play, recognizes the play. Good penetration in that backfield, even if it is the screen play. Boom. Okay, Jalen. I know you swiped on this one for sure. I know you swiped on this one for sure. Let me see it. Let me see it. Here it come. Here it come. Here it come. There it is. There it is. E <laughs> What else uh, you got for me, Tristan? Oh, he has some good plays in this Cleveland. He had three good plays in this Cleveland game. One definitely I really liked right here. Let me get to it. I want to show something because I want to show you his strength. I want to show you his strength. The man is country strong. I don't care. He a country strong guy. So you'll see him on this play. I think he's playing more of a five technique right here. Let's see. I like how he draws down the line of scrimmage and is at with the pursuit, still keeping his head up. I like how he can sift through the trash and key. He keeps his head up. I like that about Tristan. Let's check this out right here. Let's. All right, you see him right here. Slide on here on this outside. Play more of this five right here. Playing. Got more like a bear under. A bare defense. Let's look at this right here. Now watch how he goes down this line of scrimmage. Let's shift in. Being able to see down the line of scrimmage. See how he can see, still see the line of scrimmage? See how he can still run into the play? Look at this right here. He still can see what's going on. And look at the pursuit. Because you see the run back about to cut. Make that drop cut right in that middle. Tristan Hill is right there. He's not getting pushed back. He's strong enough to get in there and make that play. Now he's got a couple more plays in Cleveland. One, one I want to show you his uh, good cock strong strength because he he he's a strong kid. Look at Everson Griffin. <laughs> All right, here's the play, I believe, right here. I'll watch this right here from Tristan. Look at him engage, right? Look at that. Now, he got, he got them hands up underneath him. Offensive line is kind of trying to drive him out the play so you can see that hole right there forming. You can see the hole right there. You can see where the play is supposed to go. Uh, 54 should come in right here and fill that hole. Tristan Hill, they're trying to drive Trist Tristan Hill, drawing out the screen, and uh, Hill comes right behind him going downhill. I mean, uh, Chubb comes behind him going downhill. But look at this, though. Get off of me. Look at that strength. 
Let me, let me rewind that. See, Jalen need to get through there so that run, so that lineman don't peel him. But look at this right here, though. See, this is where he stops the play. He's supposed to keep on driving him out there, and that hole's supposed to form right there because Jalen gets blocked. You got the hole right there. This should be a big game. This should be a big game by the way it's playing right here. Alden Smith looks like he's going to get knocked out to play. But this is where, look at that strength. Because he's able to stop that right there. Because if he kept driving Tristan Hill out of here, Alden Smith kiss you driving out of here, Jalen Smith gets right out that play, Chubb going to get a big game. But who stops this play? Tristan Hill. You see a uh, big Poe in there too. But Tristan Hill is the one that makes this play right here. If he doesn't get him off of him right there, that's a big game. But by him, look at it. Look how he just throws him out the way too. Look, he, he, he just throwing him out the way, dog. He stops this play. I like that. I like that strength, Tristan. Seeing a fast motion. Get off me. Oh. Great play by Tristan. And then we're going to see another one where he gets a. This is a really good play by Tristan Hill in the run game. Let's check this out right here. This was a great play. Playing that three technique. Now, watch this. He's going to get hit with a quick double team. They're going to hit him with a quick double team and they're going to break off and go after Smith. But. With him getting hit with this quick double team, he could get he could have got totally washed out the play. But watch the aggressiveness. Watch him not give up on this play, and watch him get negative yardage on the running back. This is a great play by Tristan Hill, man. Now you see that double team. Now look at that. Watch him break that off. Look at him. Fighting through there. Look at that pursuit. Look at that fight. Jalen getting knocked out the way. Look at that. That's a great play right there. That's a great play right there. Tell him, Tristan. I got you, D-Law. I got you, D-Law. Look at this. Mm-hmm. D-Law helps him out by making him break more to the outside, with that, putting that arm in the chest. He's not able to get him, but as I said before, look how this play is forming right now. Look how this play is forming right now. This is Kareem Hunt. Look how this play is forming. You got a blocker right here, two right here. He can come and go peel. Uh, what's his name? I can't remember. It's Joe. Joe. Uh, but look at this. So you see how you let him go. You let Jalen go because you, you, you can handle Jalen. I'm going to break off and get you the linebacker. But look at Tristan Hill's pursuit. I know he, Kareem uh, tripped up a little bit, but that's D-Law making the play. Good play by D-Law right there. Still being able to put his hand in that chest and draw, and dive after a hunt, which made him trip a little bit. But still, he could have re regained his uh, uh, balance and broke out the play. But look how Tristan Hill pursued him the whole play look at that pursuit I like that I like that I like Tristan Hill still I like you still Tristan Hill I think you I, I think with Dan Quinn messing with you and you being good in that rotation and long as that knee come back healthy I like Tristan Hill and I like him to be on the roster I said he was fringe when I did in my 53 man roster uh, with my guy Billy the Kid but now, nah, when I watch Tristan, I still like Tristan. I still like what he can do. Watch this play right here. Him and D-Law, once again, look at that. I like how he fell, but still got up there. I remember watching that game. I was like, get him, Tristan. I wanted him to get that sack so bad, man. I wanted Tristan to get it. Because, you know, it's kind of like 
it's kind of like uh, once you get maybe like your first touchdown or you make your first jump shot, you start feeling good and you're like, okay, I'm good. I got it out the way. Now we can play ball. I wanted him to get his first sack here so bad uh, because he was right there, him and D-Law. But, you know, Russell Wilson, he's the, he's the type. He won't take a sack. He'll throw it right when he's about to hit his knees. He'll throw it out of bounds. He gets it out of there. But I still love the pursuit. Watch the pursuit by Hill right here. Here playing that three. Uh, look at that. Uh, break off, break off. Look at that quickness, man. That's quickness right there. Look at that. Uh, uh, uh. And I think if he wouldn't have fell, he may have got to Wilson. See right here? He's keeping his head up, recognizing the play, breaking off. And like I said, if he doesn't fall right here, he's got really good closing speed because there was nobody open. Your linebacker's got your uh, man right here. He was looking for maybe some DJ Metcalf, DK Metcalf. But right here. Tristan Hill is right there to make the play. If he wouldn't have fell, I think he could have maybe got a sack. He probably was getting too happy, like, oh, I see you in my sights. And D-Law was coming here on the back end. He was like, oh, I see you in my sights. I'm about to get you. I'm about to get you. Oh, I'm about to get this sack. And then Russell Wilson, uh, he still got kablowied. So when you see that uh, thumbnail, this is the end. He got kablowied from the top and the bottom. Kablowied. Mm, get on the ground, Russell. Mm, take that. Great play by both of those guys right here. But you see it. And now watch this other play right here. Watch this other play, Tristan. Show me some more, Tristan. Show me some more, dog. Show me some more. Watch this one right here. Oh, that's the not, not this one. Not this one. I apologize, y'all. This is the gator roll, but still. Um, I don't know if this is a dirty player or not. I'm not going to say Tristan Hill's a dirty player because I never seen anything dirty from him. But a lot of people was frustrated when he did the Gator roll. So, hey, I ain't talking about the Gator roll. I'm talking about how what he did and matter how he made this play, though. Okay, that's what I want to talk about. I want to see how he recognizes that play and makes his play in that backfield. Always keeping his head up. And I look at that. Good. Keeping his head up so he can see the play. Doesn't have his head down. Keeps his head up so he can see where that play is going through the trash. That's what I like about him. He's got pretty good instincts as far as where the ball carry is flowing as well, too. And he and he be leaving them he be leaving them offensive linemen reaching and lunging and all kind of good stuff. But as you can see right there, look at him break off the play, hone in, make the tackle. Good tackle right here. Obviously, we, we understood the Gator roll wasn't a good thing, but I don't know the intent of a man or his brain. But at the end of the day, you're still in that backfield making plays. Um, tragedy that you had an injury that came out of it, but at the end of the day, you still saw that good quickness off the ball through Tristan Hill, keeping his head up through the trash and making a play. Watch this, uh, watch this pass rush right here. Mm. Okay, that could have been a touchdown. But you know why it wasn't a touchdown? Tristan Hill on this play. Watch it, watch it. You see him right here over the guard. And watch, uh, look at that. On his outside shoulder, good move right here, keeping his hands extended so he can't get his hands on them. And then pulls him, bam. Great play by Tristan. Because if he had more time, Russell has more time, he probably maybe completes this and they get a touchdown on this play. So Tristan Hill really stops a touchdown on this play, goes for three points. So this is all Tristan Hill on this play. Like, look at that. Look at him. He, he in the dust. Look at him. Look at that. He in the ground in the dust. You can see right here. Not getting in there. Poe ain't getting in there. Alden Smith, maybe. But Tristan Hill, for sure. That's what we talk about, the pass rushing ability that he offers. And he's honing in. Russell Wilson tries to hold it at the last second because he sees his receiver getting open, so he's trying to hold it till the last second. But Tristan Hill makes that play. Now, Tristan Hill doesn't leave this man in the dust while he's sitting here eating AstroTurf. 
Tristan Hill's in there making the play. If he doesn't make this play, that's probably a touchdown because Russell Wilson has the time in there. He probably may be completed. And then you got, sorry, oh Xavier Woods right there. If he had time, he probably breaks off and hits him right here because you know Xavier Woods. So kudos to, once again, Tristan Hill on the pass rushing ability, making the play, getting them off the field, and getting three instead of a seven. I don't know if they score seven. I don't remember that time was going right here. Now this was a touchdown play uh from Matt Matty Ice. And mm, boy, this pissed me off because Cheeto did that wrap around. He couldn't he didn't have to do that. All you had to do was back up, backpedal, open your hips, and turn, and you probably would have made that play instead of turning all the way around so he gets the touchdown. But guess what? Pass rushing to Billy once again from Tristan Hill. Watch it right here. Yeah, we see the touchdown. Let's see what happened before after before that. So now he's in the A B gap. Look at that. So you see you, you see that you see that ability right there. You you see it. Pass rushing ability. Mm. Getting up inside him. Look how he's just moving him with one arm, dog. Tristan Hill's strong, man. Tristan Hill is strong. For real. Moving him with one arm. And then uh coming back with the other arm. He's just throwing this dude off balance. You feel me? He don't even know where he's going. He don't even know where he's going. This is a great play by Tristan Hill. That's why I'm trying to say, man, you don't want to cut a Tristan Hill. You don't want to cut a Tristan Hill. You don't we, we don't want to cut Tristan Hill. Y'all. We want to keep Tristan Hill on this team, y'all. Step up, Tristan Hill, in this camp so we can so the Cowboys can keep you. I like you, and I think you can be a player m- meshing with the Gallimore. Meshing, I know they got Gallimore starting, but don't count out Tristan Hill starting. They're automatically putting Gallimore right there, and I get it because, I mean, I think Gallimore is going to be an animal. He was trending upwards. He's a guy that's on it. Um, he's a rambunctious player. But I remember a tweet from Gallimore when we said, uh, me and my dog Wink, he said, I ain't been seeing no Tristan Hill workout videos or anything like that. And I'm like, yeah, I haven't seen that either. He immediately jumped in my tweet. Don't He didn't know us, not following nothing, said Tristan Hill be working. So guess what? You want a Tristan Hill to do good. But like I said, pass rushing the bill, you can see it. And he has good explosiveness. Once he sees that pass, um, the QB, he hones in. And he has very good closing speed. As you see, Matty Ice had to get rid of it. I wish Cheeto would have played better coverage because, man, this was a good play. Frustrating. I ain't saying I'm glad she's all gone, but that was goofy. You see him here, right here again. I like Tristan in the run game. Once again, pursuing, keeping the head up. He takes the double team right here. Still keeping the head up. See, you can't just really push him back, man. He's stronger than you. Than, he's strong, dog. Tristan Hill is strong. He country strong. I remember I talked to him. I asked him about some ice cream a couple of years ago. It was the joke of the day for, through a lot, for a lot of people because I asked all the players and coaches about ice cream. What was their favorite ice cream? But, hey. Shout out to my Cowboys family. They asked me to do it, and I did it for them, and I thought it was fun. But, yeah, I asked Tristan Hill uh, what was his favorite ice cream. I think he said it was vanilla or cookies and cream. Uh, But when I just looked at him, he just looked like a big country boy. You feel me? But he country strong, and you can see it. You can't really push him back. He can hold that point of attack and break off that tackle, get in there, and make plays. He can do that. That's why you don't want to Trist, uh, Tristan Hill to be off the roster. You want Tristan Hill to make the roster. You want Tristan Hill on the roster because a Tristan Hill on the roster, a good Tristan Hill, makes this defense better. He really does. Look at that. In that backfield, dog. In that backfield. Okay, Tristan. Talk to him, Tristan. Talk to him, Tristan. Tell him you ain't getting in there. Tell him, Tristan. Look at that. Get off me. 
You see that? See that? He might have been talking. That's why he gave him that extra in the mouth. Look at that. <clears throat> Back up. Look at that. Get off me. Back up. Get off me. This man handling, grabbing that jersey, ripping him down. He ain't quick enough to even get through there. You see that? He ain't even quick enough to get through there. That offensive lineman ain't even quick enough to get in there because Tristan Hill's so damn quick off that ball and strong. Look at that. Get off of me, and I'm splitting that. Oh, you too late? Look at me. Oh, you think you had something? Nope. I'm in that backfield making plays. Tristan Hill, I like it, dog. I like it, dog. So, man, that's just my quick some thoughts on Tristan Hill. Step up or step off. Tristan Hill going to step up. Tristan Hill is going to be a game changer. Tristan Hill is going to step up and make this thing good. So, the saying to step off, Tristan Hill, this is a please step up because I know you can. I believe you can. And then those little bit of highlights, you show where we can get excited. You got a new defensive coordinator who I believe is going to bring the best out of you. Rod Marinelli, I saw flashes. I saw flashes in the second half of the season when Rod let you get on that field. We saw flashes. Okay. Now, your new defensive coordinator is much like a Rod Marinelli and get after the ball, pursuit, uh, all out energy, all out effort all the time. And he's a defensive line coach. He's going to be in there in the mix. I believe Dan Quinn is really going to bring some good stuff out of you, Tristan. Get healthy. Make sure that knee is better. But Tristan Hill can be a a, a, a player in this um, system and the scheme. He can be a guy that we're like, man, we're all talking about getting rid of Tristan Hill. But look at him. So for me, I believe Tristan Hill is going to step up. He's definitely not going to step off the scene. He's going to step up this year. He's going to make plays. Not only is he going to make the 53-man roster, he's going to be a a pivotal player in that middle in 2021 for the Dallas Cowboys. So that's just my quick synopsis on my first step-off, step-off series. Tristan Hill is going to step up. He's going to make plays, and he's going to be a pivotal rotational piece in his Dallas defense for 2021. All right? So really appreciate you. Thank you for listening and peace.